This lot if is open. If it's a space and parking issue, then whoever gets the first gets the first spot. Whoever gets the second gets the second spot. Isn't that how that's for you? Isn't that how it works? I think your boss should come down here because, you know, you guys are doing things. Well, you might want to come down to post one. Yeah. trying to get through and block. They're gonna move the, the roadblock and move it up there and start again. That's what I just heard them say. They're gonna move the roadblock so we can go up? up? Uh, yes, and then they're gonna block you again up there. Well, some of us could stay down here. Because that means they can go around that way. So some of us could stay here. You don't even wanna block that, but whatever. <laughs> We ask the people of the world to pay attention to this moment. We ask them what it would be like if we were to build something on Mount Fuji, if we were to build a stadium on Mount Fuji, or if we were to dam the Ganges River, or if Hawaiians were to bar, ban and dam the Niagara Falls. What would they say? Would they care? We welcome them as visitors to our islands. But with that aloha, we also say, please respect our aina. Please respect our aina. We ask the United States to leave our home. This is our home. They've been here long enough. That this is, uh, they are guests too. They don't own the land. They claim the land because of annexation. They claim the land in a way which is not legal. They claim the land without a treaty. They claim the land without paper. They claim the land without title. We say to them, you keep us. You blockade us from the mountain. Yet you use the mountain for unsacred, unsacred heva activities. You use it in a way that is defiling of the mountain. Why do you blockade us 
you have the right to be on the mountain when you have no right to keep us there, when you have no right yourselves to be on the mountain. So we say that the mountain is sacred, the mountain is purity, the mountain is a source of water, it's the source of life, it is part of our creation, it's part of the Kumalipo. And we say, here in Honolulu, around the world where others are speaking at this time, and especially on the slopes of Mauna Kea, where our brethren and sisters are protesting, we say, Awe. We say, it's time for this to stop. We say that we are going to return. We're going to return in our own ways. That the kingdom of Hawaii still exists. And the kingdom of Hawaii will take back its lands. So mahalo for coming on this very warm day. Mahalo for being here, the spiritual presence in Honolulu. The presence that keeps alive the spirit of our ancestors, our kapuna, and our keiki. So, mahalo for coming. Thank you very much. Aloha Paco. My name is Grace Alvaro Kavikton, and I'm here today with Uncle Ben and other concerned uh, community members who, who stand with Kanaka Maoli and stand with the restoration of the kingdom. Um, I bring today also a voice from our Native American sister, Lenata Warjack, who was here this past weekend. Lenata, thank you. Um, and there are so many voices, as you recognize, Uncle, that are standing with us today from all over the world, from the Cordillera and the Mountain Province, where my people are from in the Philippines, to Olopos, that we're standing all next to you. And we've been in this struggle for a long time. And in the spirit of what is happening now in the restoration of the kingdom and defending our Mauna, we stand with you. Again, this is from Laneda Warja. Aloha. My name is Laneda Warja. I am from the Shoshone Bannock Tribes, Fort Hall Indian Reservation in Idaho. Some of you have may heard about the Alcatraz Indian occupation in the San Francisco Bay Area in 1969. It was 45 years ago when Native American students occupied Alcatraz Island in solidarity with our ancestors and people who survived through genocide. We wanted justice and the very least enforcement of our treaties made with the U.S. government. Those treaties were made to stop the further slaughter of our people. Our struggles continue in various forms, and I want you to know that we send our prayers on all light for all indigenous peoples worldwide and for your efforts to protect and stop the further desecration of the sacred Mauna Kea on the island of Hawaii. Stay strong in spirit, song, and dance, and know that we all share the same feelings and concern for our sacred sites, and we will continue to pray for each other to maintain all land and life. To maintain all land and life in balance and in form. Mahalini for allowing me to share these words on her behalf. We stand in solidarity with you. Hello, come on now, I care. Hello, come on now, I care.